today we're building an epic tunnel through the mountain to where I am planning to build a Viking inspired area. And I went on an epic wither battle with Sweet Taffy here on Arcadia. Hello everyone, I'm Huskerbin and welcome back to Arcadia. So today we've got a bit of a tunnel to build over here. Uh, I need to connect this area together with me and Taffy's portal area on the other side there. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really a big fan of digging out this manually without a beacon. It's, it's really slow. Yeah, really, really slow. And uh, it's quite a bit to dig out and it's going to be a big tunnel. I wanted to have like a big tower here and look all epic and stuff. And uh, but it just so happened that Taffy came over to my house the other day with a proposition. You see, there's a bit of a beacon light uh, going on in the background there. You see, me and Taffy, we went on a wither killing adventure. So let's see how that went. Husk. Hmm? Oh. Eee, Taffy. Husk. Hi. Da. We're going on an adventure. An adventure? There, there, there's a skull on my face. I can see that very clearly. It, uh, um, and your face didn't look that burnt last time. Ooh, I checked. Are we going with their hunting? I have plans. Yes. We get, or not wither yes. hunting, but with, with their, we don't need to hunt withers because we already got the skulls. So, how are you thinking we want to do this? Uh? Yeah, how do you. How, are we going to the end or do we want to do it underground? Mm. Like an epic battle style? I, I've never actually killed. Uh, Wither before. So, uh. <laughs> oh, you gotta get the proper experience then. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. gotta go underground and do it. Let me just sleep yeah. for us here. And so we headed down into the depths with Wither skulls and swords in hand, ready for an epic battle. Okay, so. Boop, boop, boop. And then we placed the Wither skulls down, and to battle we went. Oh dear. Run. Run away, because he's going to explode at the start. Am I getting that letting me run? There we go. <laughs> and... Now, you can start shooting it. I think he's going after me. Now, the cool thing about this, this is like free mining too, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm... How am I alive? How am I alive? <laughs> I kind of forgot about the part where you have to run up to it and hit it, but it's got its attention on me right now, I think. So if you can go up from behind and get it. Okay, we got this guy. We got this guy. Oh my god, I'm getting... Run, run, run. You got him? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It's dead! Oh. Woo. <sighs> Let me pick up your stuff. Yeah. I got the nether star. So that, that's fighting the wither for you. And uh, I guess most importantly, uh, is there something you're missing? Um, uh, I mean, we got we gotta do another one, but... This one? And probably went with your head. There you go. <gasps> yeah. Your first self acquired wither star? <laughs> mm. And there we go. Taffy battled her first wither and got herself a wither star. Then we proceeded to take care of another one so that I could get another star of my own. And of course, this battle was a bit on the hairy side. But do not worry, for I and Taffy are but epic warriors of our own kind. And we too won this battle. Haste to beacon. And now the only thing left to do before we can start building is to get started digging. To build a tunnel, we gotta get started by embracing our dwarvish nature and dig a hole in the side of a mountain. Now, we're not gonna dig too deep yet, but I'm sure the mountain lords won't be happy either way. We can deal with the trolls later. I wanted this to look epic and tall and give a very medieval fantasy gate to a kingdom type look. So that's what I did using different blocks in the beautiful shade of stone and a nice archway presenting the entrance to the tunnel. 
At the top of the tower, I wanted some fire and smoke going around, and I made part of it in shades of green and wood, and to bring in some of the large wooden log field the rest of my area will get. When I get to building more stuff, it will be inspired by the old Nordic style of houses, combined with a heaping table-sized spoon of fantasy. Now, of course, I will be carving this spoon with the bones and blade of my fallen enemies. Moving on to the inside of the tunnel. I'm gonna start off with a pattern floor design with basalt and blackstone, and on the side of the lowest section of the wall we'll have another repeating pattern of diagonal stairs. And both of these are inspired by tablet woven band. On top of these I built some ancient symbols with campfires around them as the main portion of the walls, and I thought this created a wonderful, dark, ancient feel, and I loved that I managed to pull that off. And to support the ceiling of our tunnel, I wanted to make some log beams, once again to bring back in some wood and to darken the feel of the room even more. So using logs, stairs and trap doors, I put together a beam that I repeated throughout the tunnel. This completely changed the feel of the tunnel, because I personally feel this made it even darker feeling, and come on, who doesn't like logs in a build? Now onto the other side here, I am finishing it off by building another one of the gates at the other end. And these are just a repeat of my towers from the other side, building these towers really inspired me into building more builds like this in the future, so keep a lookout from that. But as you can see, some of the tunnel here kind of poking out of the mountain a bit, and I gotta fix that. So we gotta make the mountain bigger, and wonderfully enough, I have a bunch of stone for some reason. So then I decided to expand the mountain and fill it back with snow, and honestly I think I might even continue expanding the mountain later on. Big mountains are life, and they make me feel at home, so therefore I must build. Now that the build is done, how about we head back to my view from the ground, and take a look at the place. And there we go! The tunnel is complete, and I'm so proud of how this thing came out. It's probably one of my favorite builds on here so far. And I really like how the tops of these towers turned out. And then, you know, my favorite color just happens to be green. So every time I get to use green, I'm very happy. Not a lot going on inside these towers yet. Uh, they are pretty much empty. We might change that later though, but for now that's how it's gonna stay. Here we are to the inside of the tunnel. And this is kind of the centerpiece of it. Making it feel really dark and ancient inside of here and I... I really like how this turned out. I'm super proud of it. We got wooden beams going in through here. We got rocks in the ceiling, like uh, the, 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 the hanging rock thing is I can't remember the name of right now. Got these cool old ancient symbols, fires going all around the place, and woo, I didn't plant these many uh, mushrooms here, but they sure have been growing, but I don't mind. I think it looks cool. I like mushrooms. And of course, uh, I've got a new mountaintop now too. I like big mountains. We're kind of running a bit low on diamonds right now. I'm currently the proud owner of three diamonds because I spent most of it on, well, building materials for this episode. What I am thinking is that we are going to build a bit of a mine shaft thing going on down in the ravine on the side here. So I kind of want to have like platforms and stuff going down here, mine tunnels and whatnot. Maybe a bit of like a, a, a what are those, uh, elevator house thing is called. Keep an eye out for the next episode. Now that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more of videos like this, <laughs> leave a like and remember to click the subscribe button. I'm getting shot here. I better run away. See you guys next time. I'm Huskerman and I'm out.